All right, good evening and welcome to Master Talker Online Class. We are still solving uh, Math 111 workbook questions. All right. So, we are in question number 41. And question number 41 said, use, use the zero, use the zero factor, factor property to solve, to solve, x minus 4 and 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. Solution. Don't forget that uh, the, when the product of two things is 0, it means that one of them must be 0. Okay? So we can say that either x minus 4 is equal to 0 or that 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. So if you call it like them, see that x is equal to 4 or x is equal to what? 5 over 3. So, as simple as that, we move to question number 42. Question number 42 said, um, solve, solve the equation, solve the equation x is power 4 minus 2x is power 3 minus 3x squared is equal to 0. Now, if you look at this equation, they have something in common. I can factorize x squared. So, x squared in bracket of this divided by this, you have x squared. Minus this divided by this, you have 2x. This divided by this, I have 3. Okay, is equal to 0. So this is x squared into, now I have x squared minus 3x plus x minus 3 is equal to this factori uh, factorization method of product equation. So I have x squared into x into x minus 3, the same x minus 3 here, but plus 1 here. Okay, is equal to 0. So I have x squared into x minus 3 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this shows that x squared is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to 0 twice or x is equal to 3 or x is equal to what? Minus 1. So as simple as that, we move to question number 43. Question number 43 said, um, question number 43 said, solve, solve 4y over y plus 1 plus 5 all over y is equal to 6y plus 5 over uh, y squared plus y. Okay. Now, if you solve this side by LCM, see that the LCM of this and this is just to bring them together. Now, when this divide is, I have y, y times is, I have 4y squared. Okay, when this divide is, I have y plus 1 times 5, I have what? 5 into y plus 1 is equal to what? 6y plus 5 all over what? y squared plus y. Now, if you open this bracket, you see that you are getting exactly this. So, this, we can see this. So, I'm left with what? 4y squared plus what? This time this. 5y. This time this, I have what? Plus 5 is equal to what? 6y plus 5. So, bring everybody to this side. Have that 4y squared plus 5y minus 6y plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, I'm left with 4y squared minus y is equal to 0. This and this is minus y. This is gone. So, bring out y that is the factor. So, I have 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, therefore, y is equal to 0 or 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 1 over 4 as simple as that so we move to the next question question number 44 so question number 44 said by completing the square 44 said by by completing completing the square method on material that's in now completing the square method Solve z squared minus 10z plus 34 equal to 0. Okay? Solution. I have z squared minus 10z plus 34 is equal to 0. So, I'm having that what? z squared minus 10z is equal to minus 34. Now, completing the square means to find half of the quotient of this. Square it and add it to both sides. So, this is z squared minus 10z plus this is distraction one now 
plus half of this is 5. So 5 squared is minus 5 all squared is equal to minus 34 plus minus 5 all squared. So now what if you look at this, you see that if you get to this place to factor out, you have z minus 5 all squared is equal to what? Minus 34 minus 34 plus 25. Okay, so I'm left with what? Z minus 5 all squared is equal to what? Minus 9. Okay, so which is what? That Z minus 5 is equal to the square root of minus 9. So Z minus 5 is equal to what? 3i. Square root of 9 plus or minus. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of minus is i. So Z will now be what? 5 plus or minus 3i. So if you separate it, you have that Z is equal to 5 plus 3i or 5 minus 3i. Okay, so that is that. We move to the next question, question number 45. So question number 45 said, using quadratic formula, using, using quadratic, question number 45, using quadratic formula, solve, 5 minus 7x is equal to what? 8x squared plus 5x plus 70. Now, bringing everybody to this side, you have 8x squared plus 5x. Uh, this one moving here, half plus 7x. Okay. Then plus 70 minus 5 is equal to 0. So this is 8x squared plus 12x plus 65 is equal to 0. So... If you solve this now, you are going to have, um, you know, that quadratic formula say that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everybody over 2a. So this is my a, this is my b, and this is my c. My a is 8, my b is 12, and my c is 65. So I'm having that x is equal to minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 squared minus 4 into 8 into 65 okay everything over 2 into 8 so i'm going to have that x is equal to minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 minus um if you do that you're going to have um okay question number 45 i'm going to have um 2080 now divided by 16 so this is going to minus 12 plus or minus the square root of uh, minus 1936, okay, all over 16, which is what? Minus 12 plus or minus uh, 44i all over what? 16. So which is what? Minus, if you look at it, uh, 4 can divide everybody to have minus 3 plus or minus 11i over what? 4. So if you separate it, you are going to see that x is equal to minus 3 plus what 11i over 4 or minus 3 minus 11i over 4 so that is that for question number 45 so we'll move to question number 46 question number 46 so question number 46 So question number 42 said um, Kelvin Kelvin has five trousers and three shirts. Then I say how many how many different how many different pairs of a trouser trousers and a shirt comma can can he dress can he dress up with okay solution now the answer is simply 15 3 times 5 15 but let us check if, if 15 is correct now he has five trousers let's call it t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 
These are the five trousers he has and shirt S1, S2, and S3. Now, if you want to combine the first trouser with, or, okay, the first shirt with all these people, he's going to have S1, T1, okay, comma, S1, T2, S1, T3, S1, T4, S1, T5, okay? Now, he wants to combine the second one now with everybody. You're going to have S2, T1, S2, T2, S2, T3. One minute, please. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for the distraction. So I have S, um, S2, T4, S2, T5. So now combine the last one now. S3, T1, S3, T2, S3, T3, S3, T4, then S3, T5. So if you look at it, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 3. So 3 times 5 is what? 15 ways. So you have 15 different pairs of trousers to combine. Okay. Sorry. They say how many different pairs of trousers and shirt can he dress up with? So he has 15. So 15 is the answer. So you can write the statement from there. So he has 15 different pairs of trousers and shirt. Okay. That he can dress up with. So that is that. So we'll move to question number 40. Seven question number 47 said evaluate evaluate five factorial minus three factorial solution. This is five factorial minus three factorial is what five times four times three times two times one, then minus three times two times one. So which will give you uh, I think 120 120 minus six which will give you whatever it gives you is the answer so that is question number 47 question number 47 that is one one four okay so that is that we we'll move to the next question question number 48 and question number 48 said Question number 48 said, in how many, in how many ways can 10 people, can 10 people be arranged in a role? Okay. In how many ways can 10 people be arranged in role? The B part of it said, how many how many arrangements how many arrangements are possible are possible if only 5 of them are chosen okay solution now for the 48 i they say in how many ways can 10 people be arranged in a row the number of ways of arranging something in a row is what? N factorial, which is what? 10 factorial. 10 factorial means what? 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So do that. You get your answer for that. Now, for oh, but if you want to, if you want to analyze it, let us analyze it in case we don't know this formula. Let us analyze it. And that way we can analyze it is that you want to arrange... Um, 10 people in a role. Now, the first person you want to arrange has 10 chances. Let's say that in that role, that use your, your nyash or a ruler to just demarcate it into 10 people. Okay? So, that first person has 10 chances of sitting. He can sit anywhere he likes. Okay? So, he has 10 chances. Once he's already seated, how many spaces is remaining? 9. So, the second person has 9 chances. The, th the third person has 8 chances like that. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That is ten, ten factorial. So multiply that, then you get your answer. Then for the forty-eight, I I said that only five people are choosing. So five people want to sit now out of the ten. 
okay out of the 10 we choose the first person that first person will have 10 chances of sitting he can sit anywhere he likes he has 10 chances of sitting times once he's seated the next person will have what nine chance of sitting then eight chance of sitting then seven how many one two three four then six so multiply this then you get your answer or you say that it is simply 10 factorial all over 10 minus 5 factorial which is what 10 factorial over what 5 factorial so which is what which is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over what 5 factorial so this cancel this so and it is um arrangement arrangement is simply permutation so we want to arrange 10 we want to arrange five people out of 10 okay we want to arrange five out of 10 that is what 10 10 factorial over what 10 minus 5 factorial so that is that for that any of the ways you like you will still get the same answer so by analysis or by formula we still give you the same results so go to question number 49 so please get the last answer after doing this get the last answer after doing this one okay so question number 49 question number 49 said compute compute 14 factorial all over 12 factorial 2 factorial solution is very very simple so i hope you know that this thing simply means 14 combination 12 that's the meaning okay or 14 combination 2 anyone you like we still give you the answer so which is what 14 factorial all over what 12 factorial then 14 minus 12 factorial which is a 14 factorial all over 12 factorial 2 factorial i'm just trying to show you that this thing means something as this but that is not how to solve it so this is what we want to solve this is what we want to solve we want to solve um 14 factorial all over 12 factorial 2 factorial which is what 14 times 13 times 12 factorial all over 12 factorial times 2 times 1 okay 12 factorial can now cancel 12 factorial 2 take care of this is 7 so my answer is simply 7 times 13 you get your last answer so multiply that to get your answer now question number 50 and that is where we'll stop for this particular video question number 50 so for question number 50 we have um they said evaluate 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 n factorial all over r factorial then n minus r factorial where where n is equal to 7 7 and r is equal to 3 okay very very simple so you have solution this is what 7 factorial all over 3 factorial then 7 minus 3 factorial which is what 7 factorial all over 3 factorial 4 factorial which is what 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over 3 times 2 times 1 times 4 factorial 4 factorial cancel 4 factorial 3 times 2 is 6 is taking care of 6 so 7 times 5 is what 35 so thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe bye bye